Okay, so we're making progress. Look at that big ass rusty hole. We're making progress. Um, this front motor mount for anybody trying to replace it. You don't have to remove the bracket. Just remove that top bolt. Um, it's held down to the mount. Then the crossbar. Drop it. Um, so far I had to put a jack on each side of the motor. It's really hard to just jack it from one spot. Um, if you're trying to remove your um, your passenger side top mount um, it's just three bolts you have to remove those three they're uh, 12 millimeter uh, these three over here are 14 and then you have to jack the motor up a little bit on the passenger side and it all comes out like this there is a nut, a screw holding this 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 bracket, I guess you could call. Um, so you will have to swap it to the new part. But I was like, what the hell? I thought it was only these three, but you have to remove all six, and that seventh one is in there. Um, as far as this one. I loosened up all four bolts, removed the center bolt. Um, I, so I took the center bolt out. Wasn't too bad. I'm about to take the center bolt out of the rear mount. I already got the two front bolts I'm working on the two rear ones um, hopefully it goes smooth wish me luck um, these back two are pretty tight in there I got this one almost all the way out this one is kind of giving me a hard time but we'll get them out we'll get them out uh, the bolts halfway out I have a feeling I'm gonna have some issue lining up the new bushing you see how far dropped this motor is so let's see if it goes on there smooth let's get it off first though all right guys update on my progress so I was able to get the the four screws out on the mount oh, it's, the front were easy the back were a little tight it was starting to get rusty, but I was trying to get it out without having to remove this bracket right here that holds the mount in place. And I really don't have any room to wiggle it out. I wish I did. This bracket is in the way. Um, I, I did not remove anything. None of these hoses or nothing. I just went in between. You know, snail turns, but I'm going to get it. Um, now, if you're asking why am I doing this and I didn't drop the the whole subframe or, you know, do it the proper way because I'm not trying to deal with any more of these bolts. I'm not trying to deal with any more of these. This will be the last repair we do on this Mitsubishi. No, I see why they're all at the junkyard. They want fucking over a thousand bucks to do this. Um, and <laughs> I don't know if they charge you more once they have to fucking deal with the fucked up bolts. But I do not want to get into that shit. So 
I'm gonna take these two these two bolts they're 17 from here and then I'm gonna squeeze the ratchet all the way in there let me squeeze the ratchet all the way in here and I am going to take out the bolt that's under here should be under there somewhere And uh, once I do that, hopefully I can just slide that mount straight out. And then all the other mounts are ready to go. Uh, this one I just got to loosen those bolts. Um, I'm going to drop the motor a little bit, put it on. And then I'm going to put the bracket in the rear mount. Um, then the last one will be the one on that side. So, and if I, if I didn't show, here's how you, you have to take it off. It sits like that. You have to remove the three, three nuts on this side, the three bolts on this side, because this bracket part is bolted to the bottom. Um, If any of your mounts are sagging, you're going to remove all these and it's going to be really tight. You're going to have to jack up your engine just a little bit and then it'll just literally slide up. But we're making progress. We're almost there. Wish I didn't have to deal with this fucking bracket and it just came straight out, but... This is just what we got to deal with, I guess. Alright guys, I'll keep you up updated. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully there's no more surprises. The fucking bolt down there is in an ugly spot. Ah, uh, there's two. No. There's two. There's one on the other side. God damn it. God. Okay. Yeah, obviously. Duh. That's the one I'm going to take out right now. Okay. I'm fine with that one. So it's just that one I got to worry about. Alright guys. Alright guys. So I got the two bolts out. The top one was a bitch. I used a half inch uh, ratchet. 17 small socket. Short socket. Whatever you want to call it. The top bolt was a bitch. Close your, uh, close your ears if you can't hear uh adult words here um this one was super fucking tight it looks it looks a little funny maybe they tried repairing that before i don't know the other one came out smooth now let me show you what i'm doing with the last one all right the last one is right there you ha you have to loosen the the mount I guess you don't have to, but I would suggest you loosen all four bolts on the mount first. And this is the remaining 17. I doubt I could get a ratchet in there. So I'm going to use this wrench. And then <clears throat> I'm going to put a bigger wrench over it so I can use it as a pry bar. I'm going to break it loose. And then slowly, slowly, I'm going to spin it until it comes out. And then I should be able to lift up my uh, rear motor mount. Uh, now, I am not under the fucking engine. Do not fucking chill under the engine. I came in from behind. So, be very fucking careful. <clears throat> now, they quoted us at over 1200 to replace these mounts um i got them online for like a hundred and something 140 bucks so far it's taken me a whole fucking day and that's because it had a grind open the fucking front and everything but if it's worth it 
if you got the money and you really want to keep this fucking car, just pay the fucking thousand bucks. If you can fucking repair shit and you're confident you can do this, <clears throat> it's going to take you a whole day, but you will get it done little by little. Um, just please be safe. All right, I'm gonna break that one free, loosen, and then I'll show you guys how I slide the fucking bracket in the mount up. Guys, update. Using the big wrench on the little wrench did fucking nothing. All right, but this is what did work. Get your wrench on there, right? So it's not hitting up against the bracket. Then you take a nice sledgehammer, hold the wrench in place, and just fucking whack it a couple times as soon as you hear it break loose you're just gonna hear it like you know the little seal break it's still gonna be tight as shit okay then what you do is this is a game of leverage folks it's a fucking game of leverage take your breaker bar or any bar you put it right here you hold the the wrench in place let me see if I could show you guys here hold the wrench in place and just go like that leverage off of the transmission and she's free baby she's free reposition grab your bar use the transmission here and just Leverage, 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 leverage. And now she's coming out. And then just snail turns, baby turns. See the bracket falling already? It's falling to the side. Shia, Shia. Woo, we got this shit. Hack work, all hacks. I'm not removing none of these bolts. Fuck that. I am not gonna cut into this. No siree. No siree. Alright, I'll update you once I get that bracket off. We got the last one out. Woo! That was a bitch! A bitch! This is the motherfucking culprit. This fucking bracket right here. Come on. Don't do it, we're so close, don't do it. There you go. Fucking stupid bracket. But I guess that's part of the process because the legs on this fucking mount are pretty wide. Right. Here it comes. Squeeze it through here. Rotate it, and there it is. There it fucking is. All this work has been to remove this motherfucker. This motherfucker. And I didn't drop the subframe. So, and I didn't unbolt the power steering, uh, rack and pinion. And I didn't fucking unbolt the sway bar. Ha. Huh. Took me a day, but I ain't doing all that shit. Just saved you guys a bunch of money on your car insurance. Uh, but I did save you like a thousand bucks. If you're going through the same shit. Minus this whole fucking ordeal with the front uh, mount. But now, we can install everything. I can get rid of the Mitsubishi. And they can start looking for a new car. <laughs> it's the last repair this car will ever have. If it concerns that shit. <clears throat> I would do this on my own car. I would pass if somebody asked me to do this not that I can't repeat the process just because it's a fucking bitch and a pain
pain in the ass. But alright guys, hopefully this helped you. Remember, you gotta drop <clears throat> the crossbar. And in order to drop that you gotta remove you gotta remove one bolt that's behind these two lines on the bracket. Right there. <clears throat> and then it's got like a little ten millimeter. It's got like a little ten millimeter right there on the side, those two plates. <clears throat> then when you do that, you remove the center bolt from the mount. And then the whole crossbar drops. Well, there's a, another 18 millimeter bolt right there. Then the whole crossbar drops. And then <clears throat> you have to remove the center bolt on this one. And then you have to remove this whole mount on this side so that you could jack the engine up just a little bit so you can remove the two front bolts um, the two rear bolts and then um, if possible break these nuts free first I did it after all my fucking mounts were off so be very careful and then um, remove the bracket remove the mount and before you put that one on, if you're replacing this driver's side, now is the time to drop the motor a little bit. Remove these nuts so this mount can clear these bolt these bolts right here. Install the mount, jack the engine up. Um I don't I'm not sure yet if you can go ahead and install this bolt but uh, once you get this one just in place and you know where it goes then I would do the bracket with or actually the mount first then the bracket bolt the bracket in then bolt then bolt the the mount to the subframe not all the way just enough so you get the the, nut, the bolts in there enough so you could get it in there so you could still have some wiggle room and then you can actually wiggle it back wiggle it back and install the center bolt tighten that up tighten the mount up I assume you already have the bracket tightened up then you can come back over here install the center bolt tighten that up come to the passenger side install this mount tighten it up and then the last one would be the <coughs> front mount with the subframe and that will probably go on uh, super smooth so yeah it's a process I guess but this is my hack and how I took all the mounts off without having to potentially mess up another bolt well n not me you know, messing it up, but fucking, it might spin on me, and then I have to cut into the fucking frame of the chassis. Fuck that. So, I hope this helped you guys. Be very fucking careful. Make sure you got a ton of jack stands under there. Make sure you have a couple of fucking jacks holding your motor up. Alright, I'll show you uh, the end result when I get everything put together.